In most people's eyes, Israel is a terrorist state. It's the fact that you cannot comprehend that fact that leads to the bias which runs through all of your reporting and every question that you've asked me in this interview. What we don't know is who may be responsible for these attacks. There's a lot of speculation, obviously, about Osama bin Laden, who is a Saudi dissident, who is believed to be harbored somewhere in Afghanistan, but no one is claiming responsibility. In the West Bank, however, the Palestinians in the streets are cheering and celebrating these attacks on the, on the United States. The Palestinians in the streets are cheering and celebrating these attacks. continues to possess and conceal some of the most lethal weapons ever devised. The main reason we went into Iraq at the time was we thought he had weapons of mass destruction. It turns out he didn't. I know it's in Texas, probably in Tennessee, that says, fool me once, shame on, shame on you. If fool me, we can't get fooled again. ...an axis of evil. Iran must end its support of terror, and it must not obtain a nuclear weapon. The production and the usage of nuclear weapons is one of the most abhorrent acts to our eyes. In addition, we also believe that the atomic bomb uh, has lost its use in uh, political affairs, in fact. The time for nuclear bombs has ended. Whoever who invests in it is going the wrong way. Was, was the nuclear bomb able to help keep the Soviet Union intact? The Iranians are moving forward with their nuclear program quicker than expected. The time for bombs of that nature has ended. It is a time of thought. A time for culture and reason to prevail. Iran continued to defy the UN by refusing to answer questions about its nuclear program. The largest number of inspections in the history of the IAEA has been done with the country of Iran. No country in the world has cooperated with the agency as much as Iran has done. Do you believe there is a clandestine, secret, nuclear weapons program right now underway in Iran? We haven't seen any concrete evidence to that effect. Wolf, we haven't received any information that there is a parallel, uh, ongoing, active nuclear weapon program. And when I see George Bush standing next to a prime minister, Mr. Omar, who has hundreds of nuclear weapons, illegally held, undeclared, not subject to any treaty obligations, thundering on about a country which his own intelligence service says it doesn't have any nuclear weapons and isn't trying to get any, it, it, it becomes surreal. Iran is the central banker of uh, international terrorism. One thing could we do, could we start arming the, uh, the, the anti-government groups inside Iran? Could their cars start blowing up? 
they have not found any documentation that would say that Iran has deviated from the peaceful path or, or, or really those who are now developing the fourth and fifth generation of nuclear weapons and have historically in fact used the nuclear weapon. And I hope it's not going to take uh, another 9-11 to wake us up. 9-11 with weapons of mass destruction. Stop letting them ride on your shoulders. Because when you come face to face with Maker, you are going to judge self on how many people you pull away from their journey into oneness with God for your own selfish, greedy purposes.